Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, October 25th, 2021. We're going to be doing a card of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by Spirit Universe or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is not to push a belief system onto you. My job is to empower you to believe in yourself and then you can connect with whatever it is you want to call it. It's not my place. You can, you can call it God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, Seraphs, Bay, the universe, the nothing, the void. The saints, the Orishas, the Loas, the elemental beings, the power animals, the Pikachu, Chocolate Dragon, or the Almighty Pineapple. If the Almighty Pineapple raises you to a higher level of ascension, then all hail the Almighty Pineapple. With that being said, we do have a couple of announcements. Today, 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 on Monday, October 25th, 2021, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the cutoff to register is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is the first day of the six-week workshop connecting to the Claire's, which are spiritual and psychic abilities. I am so fucking excited. If you've ever been to any of my events, my webinars, or even speaking engagements, you will know that I give you way, 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 way more than whatever you paid or invested to see me, hear me, or any way, shape, or form. I am so so fucking excited about today because we're going to be doing so many things starting tonight so again if you're interested it's about connecting to your spiritual and psychic abilities how to apply them in your everyday life i'm going to give you exercises we're going to be doing some energy work some core cutting some grounding some meditations some healing work we're gonna we're gonna do some shit it's not just about talking about you know what it is you're going to do with these spiritual and psychic abilities it's about manifesting it and applying it in your life and tapping into the energy that you've always felt inside of you so if you're interested right now we are having the tier two pricing which is 755 pay in full for those six weeks or a payment plan so you have a 12-week payment plan the program is only six weeks but you get 12 weeks to pay it off so again i am offering a payment plan 755 to pay in full 71 dollars and 25 cents per week for 12 weeks so if you're interested send an email asap on the website thealmightypineapple.com hit the contact button and say i am interested sign me up we will send you the link to pay in full or we'll send you the link so you can start those payments so again Please, 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 please understand that the way I exchange energy is through finances. Back in the day, uh, we used to be supported by our communities, and this is the way my community is supporting me now. My com Our communities, when we used to live in a communal setting, was all about getting supported by housing, food, uh, herbs, plants, and all these things that we needed as medicine men and women, shamans, ministers, etc., in every culture and every lineage. Okay, so that's happening. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited. I am so, I am so excited. I am so excited. So again, also for members of I Am The Altar, your weekly reading and forecast is being uploaded as we speak to your private membership group. And for those of you interested in I Am The Altar, it is a private membership group. It's $44.44 per month or $444.44 for 11, no, excuse me, 12 months. I made a mistake. For 12 months, so you do get a, you do get a specific discount. So with that being said, what it includes is you get a weekly re you get a weekly reading you get a weekly reading and astrology forecast for the members okay Ooh. i just noticed something all right okay they said leave it it's the way it is. that's the way it is all right i'm just listening to the ancestors excuse me it happens a lot i don't mean i'm not that i'm not talking to you i'm talking to them <laughs> but anyway for the membership you get a weekly reading an astrology forecast you get included into all the community rituals and you also are welcome to the monthly community reading it is not mandatory it is a benefit of your membership it's a place where you can vent you can celebrate your successes you can celebrate your failures you get a lot of you get a lot of support there is no judgment allowed in no discrimination nothing allowed in my group it's a place that i've even vented i've let loose so many people have found support because it's a place of like mind and like spirit so it's a great place of support and we sometimes we you know we do things that are funny and we do things that are sad we do things that are kind of silly we do things that are kind of make us angry but we're still supporting each other no matter what so if you're interested in joining i am the altar a private membership membership please send us an email there's more information on the website on the membership page with that being said, we already have the card of the day. The focus of intention is coming from the Okana Oracle deck, the deck of the ancestors. And the card of the day is called Hearth. You were born to be the head and not the tail. So again, if you if you did go onto my insights page on Instagram, it's at readings by Vida. You will see that I posted something earlier this morning saying, I'm glad you exist. You're doing okay. So again, this is in perfect alignment. I love how spirit always 
like ties into whatever it is that I post or whatever it is they give me to post and then they just confirm it. Yeah, that's a mind fuck. We're not doing that. So let's see what the Hearth card has to say. It is literally in the Earth section. With this deck, they do it by sections, Earth, Air, Fire, Water, and Spirit. So it's the Earth section. And the Shadow Element. It says, a struggle to take accountability for one's own choices, shortcomings, or mistakes. And oftentimes, it's very easy to point the finger at others for their role in the demise and the destruction of a situation in life. But one must realize that when one finger is pointed out, five more are pointed back. This card suggests that there are elements present in your life that you need to stand firm and take accountability on, on what's happening because the only way to resolve them effectively for you to move on into peace is to tackle them as if they were your, they were your problem only. Of course, there are times when there's a multi-party quarrel or disagreement, but you can't control how others work through things or even if they work on them at all. So it's up to you, the person doing this shadow work at this space and time during this September shedding season to take it upon yourself to work through it yourself so that you're free from the confines of blame, feeling slighted and allowing it to hinder your path. For example, this can manifest itself as simply as a disagreement about responsibilities if you relegate yourself to being the judge of a situation versus an active party trying to fix it, nothing will get done and a breakdown of trust and respect are sure to follow. Your ancestors are asking you to take a leadership role in your own life and actions and work on being taking your responsibility and accountability into your life. So basically... Spirit is saying you're born to be the head and not the tail. And sometimes when you're the head and sometimes when you want to lead, that means you have to work on yourself and call yourself out on your own bullshit. May realize that you are not perfect in any way, shape, or form. You're having a human experience and humans are flawed and fucked up and subject to error. Technically, according to religious doctrines, we were conceived in sin. So we were fucked up before we even came out the womb. So how did that figure? I mean, riddle me that, Batman. I'm kind of confused about that one. Another mind fuck, but we'll talk about that another day. But again, this is Monday. It's the start of the week. It's the start of the new day. You know, today is the day of my ancestors and my lineage. Today is the, the day of Elegua and my lineage. It's about opening doors, opening a new path, allowing yourself to see. But again, for you to be the head and not the tail, that means you have to acknowledge the fact when you did fuck up, when you did make a mistake, when you did lie, when you did betray, when you did cheat. Whether it was on a test, whether it was on a partner, whatever that is, whatever you did steal, even if it was a five cent candy, you have to understand that you need to take your personal accountability. Because when you're accountable for something and you make, make yourself responsible for it, then you have the power and the accountability to transform it, learn from it, evolve from it, and fucking change it. But you can't do it if you don't be responsible or accountable for it. So, I hope I helped. I hope I put some things in perspective. I hope I made you feel better. I love y'all. And if you'd like to work with me, please follow your intuition. Working with any spiritual advisor, even if that means you do not work with me, your intuition will, will teach you to who, what, work, work, where, and any way, shape, or form, and every way possible. So, again, your intuition is powerful. It will te teach you and guide you and show you things that you never, never, never fucking experienced or never even imagined. So... I love y'all. I'm really excited, as you guys can tell. I've been slurring a little bit my words. And if you guys don't know, as much as I talk, I do have a speech impediment. So I just noticed that. So I apologize for my slurring, and I apologize for the way I was saying my words. But I am really fucking excited about today, and I think that's what's happening. And today is the day of my ancestors, so I've been talking to them since, like, 6 o'clock this morning. So it's been about two and a half hours, and I'm still communicating with them. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. If you like to work with me, again, follow your intuition. Don't forget the Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark, copyright, and registered with the United States government in several different classifications. Any duplication of my content is subject to legal recourse is guided by my legal team. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to this channel. Thank you for sharing this video with someone who you feel needs it. I love y'all. And if it doesn't apply, then let this motherfucking shit fly. See y'all later.